I'm going to show you the lazy way I got cinematic effects with generative AI and an inexpensive green screen. Let's dive into it. So I have a shot here of me outside with a green screen behind my bottom half, and I have a shot here that I generated from Microsoft Image Generator. I'm going to use the trees behind my top half here and blend it into a new scene. So first, I'll use key light to key out the green screen, select the color, and I'll change the view to screen matte. I'll lower my screen gain and balance to remove just the green screen and not the trees. Drop down screen mat and adjust these until the screen is black and the rest is white. Now go back to my final result and I'll fix my edges a bit. I'll make shrink grow to negative two and softness to two. I'll create a quick mask and I'll tweak the mask a bit so it's just showing the green part. Now we'll go to composition, save frame as, Photoshop layer. Now I'll tweak my image in Photoshop beta and I'll import my other image. And I'm just gonna use part of this image, mostly just the diner part. And I'll go to layer, merge visible. And I'll use the magic wand to select my alpha channel. Expand this by one pixel. I'll add my prompt and I'll select my reference image and hit generate. If you guys like what you see and you wanna see more, then check out my Patreon page or my YouTube membership page where I have exclusive tutorials and you can get early access to my new tutorials and even more. Check it out, links below, hope to see you there. Great, I'll go with option three. So I'll save this and I'll bring it into the After Effects comp as my background. I'll add Lumetri color effect to my subject layer and I'll do some initial color correcting. Now I'll use the change color effect to adjust my sky to match the fogginess of my scene. Next, I'll bring a stock tree alpha video clip into my scene. I'll blend it in with some more color correction. That adds some nice motion to the foreground. And I'll do the same with another video clip of some grass here. Now I'll duplicate my subject and double click to use the rotor brush to rotoscope myself. This is just a rough rotoscope just to get a nice light wrap around the subject, you'll see. So once I have my roto layer set, I'll apply BCC edge lighting to my rotoed subject layer. I'll tweak the light direction and highlight color and highlight post blur. I'll tweak the shadows as well. And I'll just lower the intensity a bit and light elevation. I'll tweak the shadows as well. And I'll combine this with my main layer by using the track mat pick whip to create a Luma track mat. And you could see the before and after. And this creates a nice ambient light edge coming from the diner. Lastly, let's add some motion to our background. I'll go into my background pre-comp, I'll duplicate my main layer and I'll select my letter E here and I'll use the BCC light flicker on that layer. Adjust the speed and I'll just increase the feather on this mask. And lastly, I'll add another alpha video layer of smoke coming from my roof here. I'll adjust the scale and position and create a mask. Invert my mask, feather it and tweak the opacity. And finally, just add some camera shake to my final pre-comped layer. And here's my final result. 